What's up YouTube? In this tutorial, I'm gonna give you all the formulas you need to create responsive layouts in Webflow. We'll cover everything from setting line heights to calculating aspect ratios on images. So let's get started. First, let's make the div that's gonna hold our text and image together. So inside Webflow, we'll have a div and give it the class of hero layout. It's gonna be 100% width of the available space. We'll apply flex and align to center, justify to space apart. Inside of that, we can have another div and give this one the class of hero content. We wanna set the width of our content div using percent so it resizes with our browser. The formula for that is element width divided by parent width times 100%. So our element is 505 pixels, our parent is 1350. If we were to do this in Webflow, we would just do 505 divided by 1350 times 100% and hit enter, and that converts it to about 37%. If we use the wizardry Chrome extension though, we can use a keyboard shortcut to avoid having to multiply by 100%. So our element is 505, the parent is 1350. Using the wizardry Chrome extension, we can do 505 divided by 1350, hit the space bar, and then hit the enter key, and it converts it to 37%, rounds it to two decimal points for us, and does that multiply by 100 automatically. Let's follow the same process to set the width of our photo column. This column is 770 pixels wide. The parent is still 1350. So in Webflow, all we have to do is 770 divided by 1350, hit space enter, and that's converted over for us. Now let's set the font size of our heading. To set an EM font size, we just take that pixel size and divide it by 16M, since 16 is the browser's default font size. So our heading is 112 pixels. Inside Webflow, all we would have to do is 112 divided by 16EM, hit enter, and that's converted over for us. Of course, with the Chrome extension, we can use a keyboard shortcut to avoid having to manually divide by 16M. All we have to do is take the pixel font size that we have here of our heading. We do 112 spacebar enter. It automatically divides it by 16M for us and attaches the right unit. Now for line heights, of course, we wanna use a unitless line height so we don't have to readjust it every time we change the font size. The formula for figuring out line height is taking the line height and dividing it by the font size of the element. So in our case, it would be 104 divided by 112, and we'd add a dash at the end to make it a unitless line height. So inside Webflow, we'll do that now. 104 divided by 112, add a dash, hit enter, and it converts it over to unitless. This is simple enough that we don't have a shortcut for it. Now, because this paragraph is really small, we may wanna set its font size using rim instead. The formula for that is font size divided by 16 rim. Of course, whenever we're using the wizardry Chrome extension, the default unit is gonna be EM, but we can change that by typing a set unit inside any field and hit the space bar. That's gonna to toggle between a rim and EM unit. So now if we do 14 space enter, it's gonna divide that by 16 rim for us, and that converts it over just like that. Of course, to set line height, we'll just do 20 divided by 14. And if we head over to Webflow and type that in, hit enter, that's converted over for us. Now we need to set a height on our image. We're gonna use the top percentage padding trick so that way our image stays the same aspect ratio across all breakpoints. So inside this hero visual, we'll have another div, give it the class of hero visual height. Now to set the height on this, we would do the height of the image divided by the width of the image times 100% for that top padding. So the image is 560 tall by 770 wide. And inside here, we would do, of course, 560 divided by 770 times 100%. But of course, using the wizardry Chrome extension, we can use our keyboard shortcut. So we'll just do 560 divided by 770, space enter, and it multiplies it by that 100% for us. Now I'll go ahead and switch that div over to position relative, add my image inside. I'll give it a global image class that's 100% width and height of its parent, and we'll also make it position absolute and a fit of cover, so that way it just fills up that space like so. So now on desktop, we have a fully responsive component, and on mobile, all we'll need to do is switch the flex direction of our sort of layout here, and grab our hero content, make that 100% width, and grab our hero visual, make that 100% width as well. And you'll notice that that image is maintaining the same aspect ratio across all breakpoints, and our text is sort of just wrapping there. 
and everything is good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll catch you in the next one.